How has growing up in a conservative household affected your career? Uh, it's been good for my career because uh, I know them. Uh, when I go and I have arguments on Christian hate radio with the Christian haters, I can point things out. Uh, for instance, in Deuteronomy, it says that if a woman, uh, that a marriage shall only be valid if a woman is a virgin. If the bride is not a virgin, she shall be executed. <laughs> okay then, 95% of women are not virgins on their wedding nights. Let's get to it. <laughs> if I have to live by Leviticus, then you bitches have to live by Deuteronomy. <laughs> you can't pick and choose which chunks of the Old Testament are going to apply. If they're not all going to apply, then, we, you know, then we're not living by the Bible. Then we're not like a Christian country. If we're going to agree that women who are not virgins on their wedding night shall be allowed to live then we can agree that I shall be allowed to marry, even though it is anti the Bible, theoretically. And, you know, so that prepared me. You know, I actually read the Bible growing up. My parents read the Bible to us. I read the Bible cover to fucking cover as a teenager. Most people that you wind up arguing with about religion and homosexuality have never read the Bible without their, you know, moron glasses on where they're just searching to have their prejudices confirmed. You know, if you believe the Bible is the divinely inspired word of God, and I think there are tremendous moral truths and moral lessons in the Bible. I am not a raving anti-Christian bigot. My mom was a Catholic till the day she died. I uh, was there for last rites. I said the prayers. I, uh, I get it. And I think there's great, tremendous good and value uh, in religion, potentially, and at times. But if you believe it is a divinely inspired word of God, if you believe in the literal truth of the Bible, I challenge you to read the first five fucking pages. There are two creation myths in Genesis with mutually exclusive timelines. Things are, God makes animals and humans and Eve in different orders. The story is told and then it starts over again. It's like the second draft. They both can't be true. So perhaps this is God, if God divinely inspired the Bible, telling us before the opening credits not to take this shit literally. Not to execute everyone who's not a virgin on her wedding night, necessarily. <laughs> anyway.